Okay, guys, thanks for joining us here in the charts. You tune into the Market Beast edition. It is your fellow compadre speaking. Short video, really quick uh, piggyback on the previous video that we came out with on Zoom. Uh, it, we, it needed to hold above 331. That's what I would have liked to see in order to understand the story behind price action. If you're new here, that's all I go over. I'm not, I'm not a technical analyst. I'm just a weird analyst, okay? Uh, there's no more TA on the channel, by the way, guys. This is a ASMR and weird analysis okay a few changes going on in the channel uh and lawyer scribes welcome back i know that's kind of news maybe to you there but uh that's what we're doing going moving forward so let's see what we have in the story on the next that could take place in zoom so let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here shall we all right so today is march 20th 2021 and the previous close of zoom is going to be 326 dollars and 26 cents it closed positive approximately 3.1% for the day. All right. All right, guys. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Welcome back. Here's what we have. Well, it's the same thing. So if you're new here, here it is. Yep, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, you are star staring at a descending triangle. At least I think this is what I found. Uh, so far, I'm going to assume it's it has been within a descending triangle and it it appears that no not it appears this is an official breakdown below the support line right here uh one may ask okay what does that mean does that mean it's going to you know go down significantly no not necessarily because what what happens is okay first and foremost hopefully we're all on the same page about zoom being in an overall uptrend Okay, if you're new here, just kind of to break it down for you, what we do is uh, we look for higher highs and higher lows to verify an uptrend, and Zoom is still perfectly confined within an uptrend, although it has been under a lot of sell pressure, and it appears that the sellers do have control of this market within this descending triangle. And the reason that I say they have control of the market within a descending triangle because Zoom has been making lower highs. This is the highest point, so it's not a lower high, but this, and that's going to be at about like $570. Um, and this area here, which is at like 487, that's a lower high. Okay, and this area right here, which can be identified as 433, that is another lower high. So we technically have two consecutive lower highs in Zoom with the exception of the highest level in this market, okay? So the support line that could be identified here has just had one support level uh, within this clustered area of three weeks. We've already discovered this discuss this at about $331 and let's just kind of zoom in on this I don't want this to be a long video guys uh, on this area here this is a successful these are weekly candles okay this is a successful weekly candle to close below that $331 that was a, one of the last videos that we came out with saying that zoom must close above $331 so here's what could take place next Remember, this is just a story. This is not an this is not an opinion or anything. This is for me to understand what could take place next in the story, or in order for the buyers to show their strength in this market, what the buyers must do next, according to the story and how I understand it, which I do get wrong sometimes. Okay, the buyers are obligated to make a bullish counter move next week. That's between March the twenty second up to March the 26th, yes, March the 26th, 2021. Because what happens is when, when Zoom is in a very strong uptrend, right? It's, it's yes, it's in an uptrend. And when the sellers have successfully broken below a verifiable support line, the buyers have the opportunity to make a bullish counter move the following week to consider this as a fake out. Does that make sense? Like, so again, we have a successful candle to break below this support line. We, we've gone over this a few times over, over the channel, but I kind of want to, I really want to beat this in, in my new technical guys, their heads so they'll understand this. This goes with any pattern, descending triangle. What else? Like a sideways consolidation. What else? Inverted dome formation, any pattern. You have to understand the trend first. If it's in an uptrend and the sellers have had control within a pattern. Yes. The control still have had control within a pattern and then they're going to this is consolidation It's going to be considered consolidation and if the sellers make their first attempt to break below a support line the very next typically typically in most cases or in the this, so cases that i've understood the very next week or the very next candle it does, if you're looking at like weekly candles or daily candles it doesn't matter the very next candle must act as a bullish counter move back within the pattern, okay? 
um, and that would be considered a fake out. So that's all I was basically trying to explain that. That's how you identify whether or not it's a fake out or an official breakdown. Next week, if it breaks back above 331, let's just say go up to like 335 $350 and it closes near that level at about like $350 for the March close, March 22nd up to March 26, then yeah, this will be considered an attempt to hold a verifiable support line. Hopefully this makes sense, guys. So that's the story behind what could take place next week. If the buyers do not have a sufficient amount of strength in this market, then this will be an official breakdown below the support line at 331 and you have the target uh, that we discussed on the previous video. This is the next target at $281. That's it. Really simple. I'm not sure if it'll take one week to get to that level. I'm not sure if it'll take two weeks. The longer it takes, the more I will be convinced that there's buying activity going on in the market as the price goes down. I, I explain that a lot as well. And I really want to beat this in your brain, my new technical guys. I know you're going to get this one day. And again, I don't get this right all the time, but I do understand. I have a unique way of understanding the story. So that's it. We're going to cut it out here. You have the two possible scenarios that could take place next week march 22nd up to march 26 if this is i'll just explain it again if this is a fake out on this weekly candle the buyers will step in and say no 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 no, don't do that no 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 we're pushing this price back up there don't do that bud and they're gonna push the price back up at 331 but preferably even at 335 or even higher and close the week out next week but of course again if the buyers don't have the strength in this market yeah mm-mm it's going to continue to fade to the downside, okay? So that's it for you wonderful folks. Hopefully my Zoom family is doing well out there. Yeah, we, we're, we already explained that. We're not, we're not invested in Zoom just yet. Uh, we're looking for a nice entry, but we haven't found that just yet in the market. So, um, yeah, that's it. So hopefully this was useful information to you wonderful folks. So leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you enjoyed the content. Leave a comment to support the channel. Also, before you go, if you're new, we cover the alternative markets to, from time to time. So subscribe with us, hit the bell. We'll send you that information when it is readily available. So take care of yourselves, protect your portfolios, execute your strategies. We're going to talk soon. Bye for now.